unction from the Holy One. Please pay attention. There are people in our time and day, and some of them are even in the churches. They have been anointed by the spirits of the devil, by the first powers of darkness. They speak in tongues, but not by the Holy Spirit. But the Bible says, ye have an unction from the Holy One. We are going to pray that the anointing you are going to receive, the unction you are going to get will be from the Holy One. In the name of Jesus, we don't want any corrupted anointing. We don't want any defied anointing. We want the holy anointing, unction and power from the Lord. In the name of Jesus, he says, the anointing which you have received, oh yes, abide with you. Yes, pay for that anointing. Pay for that unction from the Holy God, from the Holy One. In the name of Jesus, don't speak with false tongues. Don't speak with light tongues. Don't speak with the shortest tongue. Some speak with evil tongue. Some people speak with with grace of tongue. You want to pray for the anointing of the Lord upon your mouth, upon your head. Oh yes, the oil, the oil of anointing upon me, O oh Lord. I pray the anointing with the Holy Ghost and with power from the throne of grace, from the presence of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, O oh Father Lord, I pray for the anointing of the Lord. I pray for the altar from the throne of grace. I pray for power in the name of Jesus. Maybe you say, I'm not a worker. I'm not a pastor. Oh, I don't need the anointing. I can tell you, you need the anointing yourself. Even as I'm not married member, the Bible says this signs are followed and that believe if you believe in the Lord. If you are walking in righteousness, if you are walking in holiness and purity, you need the anointing. You need the anointing that wherever you go, signs and wonders will follow you. Beautiful will follow you. Yes, all of us. All of us Christians, uh, children of the Most High God, we need the anointing. Anointing fall upon me. Let the power of the Holy Ghost come, come upon me. In the name of Jesus Christ, of Nazareth, have your way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. James chapter 5, verse 4. James chapter 5, verse 4 says, If any sick among you, let him come for the elders of the church, and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And nothing with oil in the name of the Lord. Now you are going to pray that the Lord God of heaven. You know, you know, you know, when a woman is pregnant and the time comes and when she is pregnant, all eyes are on that woman that a child is coming. Maybe a male child, maybe a female child, maybe twins, maybe triplets. They are coming and everybody is expectant. And then the day of delivery comes and the woman has no strength to deliver. And the one has no power to deliver. It is a day of calamity. It is a day of sorrow and sadness. It is a day of weeping and sorrowing. You are going to declare right now that all our ministers, you see, that we are there because people are expecting that we have the power of God, that we have the spirit of God, that we have the anointing of God, that we have the unction of God. And when the need comes, when the sick people come, and you cannot pray for their healing, the oppressed comes. You cannot pray for their deliverance. Those that are bound comes, and you cannot. Pray for their salvation. The demonized people comes and you cannot release them. We are going to pray right mm-hmm. now, right now, right now, that they are anointed to heal the sick. They are anointed to heal the sick. The Lord will bestow upon us. They are anointed to deliver the oppressed. They are anointed to suffer the captive. Oh Lord, pour, pour upon me. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Holy Spirit of the Lord, oh Lord, oh God, in the day of my glory, I will not be put to shame. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, uh, when the whole world, the Bible says, the, the, the entire generation is waiting for the manifestation of the children of God. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. Uh, oh, Lord, oh, God, uh, I pray I will not be a failure to my generation. I will not be a disappointment to my generation. Begin to declare right now, begin to call upon the name of the Lord, uh, that the Lord God of heaven will use you. Oh, Lord, uh, oh, God, use me. Oh, Lord, use me. Equip me, Lord. Empower me, O oh Lord. Manifest your strength. Manifest your glory. Manifest your power in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. O oh Lord, O oh God of heaven, King of glory. Do something in you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. O oh Lord, O oh God, use me for your children. Use me for my generation. Use me, O oh Lord, O oh God, to break you. To lose bound. 
no separate the captain. You see it as never give the glory for the glory of your holy name, for the excellence of the power. You see the eternal God everlasting king, king of glory. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are still on this subject of anointing. We are going to sing. Jesus use me. Oh no, don't refuse me. Surely there's a war that I can do. Even though it humbles, Lord, help my will to come home. Though I want for you. Jesus, use me, oh Lord, don't use me. Surely there is a war that I can do. Even though it crumbles, Lord, let my will to crumble. No, let not be great, I walk for you. Use me, Jesus, use me. Use me, Jesus, use me. It is life of mine, it is life of mine, and you see, Lord Jesus, it is life of mine, it is life of mine, and you see. Amen. The Bible says in the book of Luke chapter 7 verse 46, it says, my head with oil. Thou this not anoint. For this woman has anointed my feet with ointment. You are going to declare, Oh God, you know, Jesus was telling the people, I was telling Judas, that you are failed in your responsibility. You are failed in your duty. You are failed in honoring me. You are failed in glorifying me. You are going to declare, Oh Lord, in my life and generation, I will not be a failure. I will not be a disappointment. To God, to myself, to my generation, to the church of God, I will not be a failure in Jesus' name. Ah, Lord God of Bible, King of glory, I declare in the name of the Lord. I declare by the power of the Lord, I will not be a failure. I will not be a disappointment. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, O oh Lord, O oh God of heaven, make me to be the joy of the whole world. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, help me, Father, in the name of King of glory. That my life will honor you, my ministry will honor you, my service will honor you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, have your way, O oh Lord, O oh God, of the King of Glory. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, do something in my life, O oh Lord, do something in my life, and use me, O oh Lord, for my generation. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In Jesus' name we pray. We are still going to pray for our ministers, but then we are going to join in with praying for our pupils. We are going to pray for the growth of the church. We are going to pray for the development of our members. And this is something that is going to involve all of us. Whether you're a member, new member or old member, whether you're a worker or not, as a pastor, as a safe pastor, as an overseer, all of us together are going to be involved in this. We are all going to be engulfed in the power of the Lord. We sing this song together. It says, I am hungry for the mighty move of God. Are you hungry for the move of God? I am. Mm-hmm. It said, I am thirsty. Oh God, pour out your Holy Ghost. Lord, I want to see the hand of God move in a mighty way inside of me. And so we are going to sing this song. I am hungry 
For the mighty move of God, I am trusting for a holy ghost. Lord, I want to see the hands of God who mightily inside of me. I'm hungry for the move of God. Oh, Lord, I'm hungry, Lord, I'm hungry for the mighty move of God. Lord, I'm trusting for our job, Holy Ghost. Lord, I want to see the hands of God who Christ in me, inside of me, upon me, for the move of God. Oh, Lord, I'm hungry, Lord, I'm hungry, Lord, I'm mighty, move of God. Lord, I'm trusting for our job, Holy Ghost. Lord, I want to see the hand of God who might be inside of me among me. For the move of God, begin to get the Lord, long that goes on to pray. Lord, I'm hungry. Lord, I'm hungry. Long for hungry. I want to see something happen in my life. I want to see something happen in my ministry. I want to see something happen in my congregation. I want to see something happen in my church. I want to see something happen in my family. Oh, Lord, I'm hungry for the mighty move. Of God, for the miracle of the Father of the Lord. I'm hungry for the mighty move of God. Oh Lord, I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty for the Holy Spirit of the Lord. For out the Holy Ghost. Oh Lord, oh God, back up. God of the Holy Ghost of Lord, God of the Holy Ghost of Lord, upon the church, upon the children, upon the youth, upon the young adults, upon the ministers, upon the members, upon the pastors, who's a part of us, God of the Holy Ghost, upon our church, God of the Holy Ghost, who's a part of the Holy Ghost, who's a part of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus. God of God. God of God. God of God. Fora de onde Fora the Holy Ghost, O Lord. the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, like never before. Like never before. The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. Pour it out. 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 The Bible says in the last day, I will part of my spirit of an offering. Pour it out, pour it out, pour it out. If you can speak in tongues, you can speak in tongues. You are not speaking to anybody, they don't need to understand what you are saying. You can just speak in the Holy Spirit. You can speak in the Holy Ghost. You can pray in the Holy Ghost. Pour it out, pour it out, pour it out. Oh Lord, pour it out. The Holy Spirit, pour it out. Oh Lord, oh Lord, your spirit, pour it out. Pour it out. He said in the last day, I will pour out of my spirit of an Upon our boy town, upon our women, boy town, upon our men, boy town, upon our minister, boy town, upon our children, boy town, pour out the Holy Ghost, O Lord, pour out the Holy Ghost, O Lord, boy town, Father, in the name of Jesus, God of Nazareth, all those from the day, O Lord, and God, and God, and God, in the fullness of the Holy Ghost, in the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus, God of Nazareth. God, I'm hungry for the mighty move of God. God, I'm hungry for the Holy Ghost. God, I want to see the hands of the Almighty inside of me. I'm hungry for the move of God, not the Lord. This is your appointed time. Your appointed time. Your appointed time. This is the hour of manifestation. The hour of revelation. The hour of impartation. In the name of Jesus, fight us, O Lord. Fight us, O Lord. Fight us, O Lord. Fight us, the Holy Ghost. Don't be afraid. Speak out. Speak 
head of the altar had the prayer. The Bible says in the book of Leviticus, chapter 6, verse 7 and 13, it says, And the fire of the altar shall be burning in it, it shall not be put out. And the priest shall burn wood on it every morning, and let the burnt offering in order upon it, and it shall burn the rum, the part of the peace offering, the thirteen. The fire shall ever be burning upon the altar. It shall never go. We are going to be clear today that the fire of the Lord will engulf our altar, our sanctuary, our churches. That when people come into our church, whether the pastor is there or not, they call upon the name of the Lord. Our churches should become salvation center. Healing center, deliverance center, that every prayer of this prayer in our churches, the God of heaven will answer, begin to pray right now, that the Lord God will engulf our altar with the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, our minister will be, will be enveloped with the power of the Holy Ghost, begin to pray. The altar, the minister, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, when seven is walking to our church, they put the message. They call prayer, they will come each other their sin, they will pray, they will now, and they will accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Begin to tell the Lord that the Lord will amend our churches, the people of our churches, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that the power of prayer will be rested there, even the prayer we are praying today, the better thing will be seen in our churches, in the name of Jesus, tell the Lord, tell the Lord. The fire shall be upon the altar. The fire shall be upon the altar continuously. The fire of God will not go out of our church. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the fire of God will not go out of our church. Our altar will not be defiled. Our altar will not be polluted. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Our pushes will be found in the confidence of beautiful signs and wonders. Our pushes will be found in the confidence of beautiful signs and wonders. Out, 
war to make all sound, to be hard in prison and saying, Give the law. And when they lift up their voice with the trumpet and cymbal and on instruments of music, and praise the Lord, saying, For he is good. For his mercy and forever, forever, that then the house, look at it, the house of God was filled with a cloud. Even the house of the Lord, the glory of God came down. Mm-hmm. We are going mm-hmm. to sing. Uh, we are go- before we sing, we are, we are going to sing that as, 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 as a choir member, that as you climb the pulpit, the cloud of the Lord will come down. Mm-hmm. As a teacher, as you mount the pulpit, the glory of God will come down. As the one giving an answer, as the one preaching, as a man the puppy, you become a different person. Mm-hmm. You are going to declare to the Lord that the power of the Lord come down. Let the power of the Lord come down. Let the power of the Lord come down. Let the power of the Lord come down. Yeah, yeah. 
back to Ipopa. No one to the to the No No attack of the enemy. No arrow of the devil will be effective in our life, in our community, in our family, in our churches. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Lord will bend up the first part of that from our ministers. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, no enchantment against me shall prosper. No divination against me shall prosper. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I declare and decree. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, everyone but the devil in my life be destroyed. Every part of that way in my life be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, every aspect of devil in my home, in my family, in my congregation, be destroyed right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the enemy wants to destroy your pastor. So that your pastor will never be able to do the work of the Lord. The enemy wants to discourage your pastor. The enemy wants to discourage your pastor. What they will tell they begin to declare in the life of our ministers, our leaders, the force of that message, the power of that message. In the name of Jesus, the enemy is saved. In the name of Jesus, God of Nazareth, oh God, the right to 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 Amen. Some people they don't understand. You know why some pastors' children don't come out to write? Why some pastors' children are able to answer Christ? If they don't understand, why some pastors' children are working against their father and what their parents and their mother and what their parents stand for, they don't understand why some wives are working against their husbands. It is because the enemy wants to make them caricature. So that the one would say, hey, even if the pastor's children are like this, hey, even if the pastor's wife is like this, hey, even if the pastor's family is like this, you are going to declare right now that in the name of Jesus, the devil will not put our minister to shame. In the name of Jesus, and you as a worker, and you as a member, this is a Christian, so if I should have been a Christian, the minister of that is, the devil will not put us on shame. In the name of Jesus, the devil will pay. This work will pay. There is no oppression. There is no oppression. There is no attack of the enemy that will succeed in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I begin to declare my life will not be wasted. My ministry will not be wasted. My family will not be wasted. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in the name of Jesus, I will not be speaking. I will not be speaking with sickness. I will not be speaking with infirmity. I will not be attacked with oppression. I will not be attacked. He's not in your form. He's in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. As the widow. As the widow. Take control of the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. You are going to pray. Our time is almost up. I, I, I wish we have an, um, another one hour to continue. We are going to pray. You know, sometimes the devil steers up people from within the church. And then they begin to attack one another. And they begin to, to speak to people of their minister. Even when they're supposed to pray for their pastor, they're attacking their pastor. When they're supposed to pray for their worker, they're attacking their worker. When they're supposed to pray for their member, it's attack one way or the other. We are going to be clear. In the name of the Lord, I will not be an agent of darkness. I will not be an agent of discouragement or destruction of the life of anybody. Begin to declare, oh Lord, oh God, I need the attention of the Lord to be a blessing and not to be a cause, to be an encouragement.
another way of discouragement, to inspire and Lord to kill the spirit of anyone. Begin to declare right now, oh Lord, oh God, you see, oh Father, you see, to be a blessing and not a cause, to be an encouragement and not a discouragement. In the name of Jesus, we to keep up the spirit of others and not to tap on their spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for your 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 we ask you quick because uh, the enemy is at work. You want to buy the enemy from the mind, from the heart, from the brain, from the tongue, from the eyes. And so, Lord, give me up. Give me up. Give me up. Give me up. In that moment, Lord, I want to all run over. I want to run over. I want to run over. You want to run over. When the spirit of the Lord, not with the spirit of the devil, not with the spirit of the not for the spirit of opposition, not for the spirit of quarreling, but for the spirit of For the Holy Ghost, fill me up. Oh Lord, oh God, let me express it. 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 Take me, God of blessing. If you have made me take it anyway, repent right now. Oh, yes, repent right now. Tell the Lord to have my feet. Tell the Lord to forgive you. You should be more sin, Lord. I'm not a sin, Lord. I am a sin in the name of sin, Lord. I am a sin, Lord. In the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. In the hands of the Lord. For the glory of the Lord. I am a blessing to my congregation. A blessing to my ministers. A blessing to my workers. A blessing to my workers. Amen. Father, we thank you and bless you for this day and for this hour. We thank you, Father, for the anointing of God that has come upon us already, the presence and the power of the Holy Spirit. We thank you for the new things that is happening this year, 2023, and going forward to the rest of our lives. We are appreciating mm-hmm. Father, because the world will see the glory of God upon our lives, the presence of God and the will mm-hmm. of the Lord. God, I pray, beyond this hour of prayer, Oh Lord, oh God, bless the move of God, the presence of God, the power of God, the glory of God, the clear evidence in our lives that anywhere we go, we will know, the world will know, we ourselves will know, our family will know, our, our communications will know that we are being with the Lord. Thank you, Father, for asking. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Wow, wow. Lord. Lord. Yeah. 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 Like we should uh, uh, pray more on this, this anointing. And by God's grace, yeah. we will go with 20, in 2023 in this power and anointing in the name of Jesus. Yeah. His yeah. grace is upon us. Thank you very much, yeah. Aaron, for leading us tonight. The Lord bless you and all that you do, even in the Philippines. And even mm-hmm. despite the disparity in time, you are still able to make this prayer. The Lord uh, bless and um, prosper your work here in the U.S. and in the Philippines in the name of Jesus. Mm-hmm. Amen. 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 Brethren, uh, we're not going to the prayer. Our arrow has prayed is enough for today. Tomorrow, we are back here at 9 o'clock on Monday for the prayer. I want to thank every one of you for coming, and I want to encourage you, please always be here every day because God is doing things as we pray. May we all share the grace and fellowship, please, the grace. 
Bible, so if if I told us yesterday, I'll continue from that passage. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 13 and 21. yourselves one to another in the fear of God, wife, herself, and husband, as God, for the head of the wife, even as the head of the church. What is happening now? This noise. Pastor Peter, please, sir. So you look at uh, verse 22. Why submit yourself unto your own husband as unto the Lord? For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, he is the savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wife be to their own husbands in everything. Husband, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, that he might present it to himself a glorious church, not as a wrinkle or any something that it should be holy and without blemish. So men ought to love The recording love their has started. Body. He that loveth his wife loveth himself, for no man ever hated him so flesh, but nourished and cherished it, even as the Lord the church. For we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall be joined unto his wife, and they two shall become one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning the church, Concerning Christ and the church, nevertheless, let every one of you in particular so love his wife as himself, and the wife see that she reverence her husband. For verse 20, we want to go to Lord now, submitting yourself one to another in the fear of God. We want to pray that the fear of God will be clearly seen in our family. I like to say very quickly here yeah, the reason why we find a lot of chaos in the family of many so called believers. Yes, I understand for the unbeliever, there is bound to be chaos, there is bound to be pandemonium, there is bound to be anarchy in the home and in the family of the unbelievers. Why? because they do not even have the prince of peace in their own life. But I'm talking about the home of the so-called Christians or believers. How come there is still pandemonium? How come there is still running elder scatter? Sometimes it is possible that the fear of God have left and have departed from the people who want to pray that God will restore his fear in our home, in our family. Let your fear, O oh God, fear of God, 
the Bible says that the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Oh Lord God, my husband will fear you. Oh Lord God, my wife will fear you. Lord, my wife will fear you. Do you know that what kept Joseph and made Joseph not to sin against the Lord? It was a fear of God. He had the fear of God. He had the fear of God. My God, let me have your fear. Let your fear saturate my heart. Let your fear saturate my soul. Let your fear saturate my spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the day, in the night, O oh God, in my home, in my home, in everything, my God, my children will fear you. My children will fear you. My children will fear you. In their, in their school, they will fear you. On campus, they will fear you. In high school, they will fear you. Anywhere they are, oh God, they will fear you. By your spirit, oh God, my Father, they will fear you. By the power of the Holy Ghost, they will fear you. By the spirit of God, they will fear you. Let's talk to God in prayer. 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 And say, Father, submitting yourself in the fear of God. Let the fear of God go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Kuyumi. At least let me hear somebody's answering. Verse 22, wives, submit yourself unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. Wives, submit yourself unto your own husband as unto the Lord. We want to pray right now for our wife. The Bible says, submit yourself unto your own husband, not another person's husband. Now, this is the error a lot of women are making. They will respect another person's husband but they will not respect their own husband. You wonder uh, how could they be doing such a thing? Yes, I understand that the reason sometimes in some home could be that the man has lost his respect. The man's attitude or behavior or lifestyle may have made the woman to begin to disrespect him. I understand. I'm not talking about this one. I'm talking about the one that the woman is just unnecessarily disrespectful. Disrespectful to her own husband, not being courteous to her own husband, no politeness to her own husband, but she will not be polite to another person's husband. She will be polite to pastor, a pastor in the church, a deacon or deaconess or whoever in the church, but she's not polite to her own husband. That's an hypocrite. That's not born again. We want to pray God will arrest such women on our platform if they are there. If we have such women on that platform, let the Holy Ghost arrest them. Let the Holy Ghost deliver them. Women who will not have regard for their husband, but they can have regard for other people's husband. They can have regard for their pastor in the church, but they can talk indiscriminately, irrationally to their own husband at all. Those are not born again women. Those are not real children of God women. I'm not talking about men that have lost their respect. I'm not talking about men that do not earn respect at all. I'm talking of believers. I'm talking of men that know their God, they are serving, but the women are just this, being disrespectful on their own, oh, probably because they feel, oh, this man, you don't have money as much as my pastor, or you don't have this as much as my pastor, or you don't have enough this and enough that, or because you don't have these things of this life, or because there are some defect or the predicament or one thing or the other. And then they feel that, oh, you don't want to earn my respect. You cannot earn my respect. I will only respect you if you provide everything I need. I will only regard you if you give me money as much as I desire. No, you no, 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 that's not right. Let's pray that God will touch the heart of such women. But I believe uh, 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 you can hear me and you are praying. You can send the text to show that you are actually hearing. I said that kill me because it's only a kill me that is replying me things. And I don't know. And this prayer is for men, actually, is uh, because I'll be saying something very deep and all that. Akiyumi is very young and I know that, but I just hope that the Lord will help him. 
let's let's uh, the main place let's uh, follow up as the lord will be helping us this monday is for prayer and i will not be thinking, i will not be doing things i will not be hiding what Somebody called me. We are still praying and talking to God in prayer. The Lord, we arrest such women in the name of Jesus. The Holy Ghost, we arrest such women by the power of the Spirit. The Lord, we arrest such women by the power of the Holy Ghost. The Lord will arrest such women. Oh God, arrest them. The Lord will arrest them. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. In verse Amen. 23. The Bible says, for the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church and is the savior of the body. The Bible says the husband is the head of the wife. This is what many children, many, many women don't want to hear in some of these developed countries. And now it's happening in Nigeria too, where some women are calling themselves feminists. They say they are feminists. They are equal with men. They are equal in this. They are equal in that. You cannot tell them to do this. You cannot tell them to do that. They tell you, yes, they are as educated as their husband. They are as educated as this and that. And they want to just raise shoulder with their husband, raise shoulder with thee. And you can imagine, we want to go before God now. We want to pray and ask the Lord. And uh, you, you see the issue again. He said the husband is the head of the family, the head of the wife. I want to pray for the men now. As many men that have lost their airship, as many homes that have lost their airship, as many homes, you go to many homes, supposed Christian home, you find the men, they are just roaming about, they have yeah. lost their airship. You see, when you lose your head, as the GS said yesterday, you have lost everything. He told us the meaning of the head there, the holiness is there, and the excellence is there, the anointing is there, and the distinctives is there. We want to go before God and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, as many homes that have lost their airship, either the man now is no longer a believer, he used to be a believer, either the man now is no longer financially buoyant, things are not going awire, either the man cannot perform his duty as expected, and the airship is lost, let there be a restoration. Let's talk to God in prayer. Well, then let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. In the name of Jesus, we are praying and asking the Lord. We are praying and asking the Lord. We are praying and asking the Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus, by the Spirit of the Living God, pray, 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 pray. Talk to God in prayer. Talk to God in prayer. Talk to God in prayer. In the name of Jesus, the heir, the heir of the family, the heirship. As many home that have lost their airship, oh God, oh God, let there be restoration, restoration of all kinds, spiritual restoration, financial restoration, physical restoration, marital restoration, all around restoration in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. We go to verse 24. Um, the Bible says, For therefore, as the church is subject to Christ, so let the wives be unto their own husband in everything. My God, this is powerful. As the church is subject to Christ, that's true. The church is actually subject to Christ. True church of God is 
subject to Christ. True Christians are subject to Christ. And we are the bride. Christ is the bridegroom. And we are subject to Christ. He now says here that as uh, as the uh, as a church is subject to Christ, so the wives should be subject to their own husband, not in some things, but in everything. I want to pray right now and say, Father, you will hear. The reason why you find some women not being able